Hey everyone, welcome to November's monthly vlog, probably part one of two. I said I would show you at the end of part two some Disney goodies that arrived from America from my American friend Joseph, and I'm going to show you those right now. The reason for that is there is some edibles in here and they're almost finished. So out of this four pack of cheese its there's only one pack left. And also these Knott's Berry Farm raspberry shortbreads, there's barely any... There's barely any left in here either. By the way, these were not that good, but I've still ate them anyways. So there's a Britney Spears CD in here. I'm a big Britney fan, if you wanted to know that. I have all the albums, I just needed this one, so now I have it. There is this bronze Mickey plush, which I love. I have the gold one and the red and black one from the previous years, so now I have this one. I have a pin from Disneyland Paris. Cogsworth Lumiere, I never saw this one, so I have this one, which is fab. A Reese's Take 5 bar, which I'm probably going to eat this afternoon. An Yzma Funko Pop, which means I now have the complete Emperor's New Groove set, including the Yzma Cat exclusive Comic-Con one or something that I got earlier this year. And I think there's something... Yes! Ah, oh, I love this. This is a key thing which oh, has all of the parks on it and it's got all their little castles on too. So this one is Shanghai. So it says Shanghai on the back, it won't focus. And then it's got the Shanghai castle and it's got all of them on. Amazing, how cool is that? So yeah, I've got all of that. So thank you very much, Joseph. Um, there is one other thing in here, but it was a random thing that he put in and I'm actually going to gift it onto somebody else, which he is very much aware of, um, but I know that they would appreciate it much more than me, so I'd rather somebody else had it that would appreciate it more than me. Um, what am I going to do today? Well, it's currently about 11 o'clock in the morning. I have finished Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I was watching it last night and it got to about just after 11 and I was like, I'm going to fall asleep by the end of this because I was just tired. So I finished that this morning, so now I've just got The Return of the King to watch. I've realised, though, after watching them, I think The Two Towers is my least favourite, followed by Fellowship of the Ring, followed by The Return of the King. Um, also, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of the lovely comments so far on The Return of the Monthly Vlog, October Part 1. I'll be editing the rest of Part 2 this afternoon, ready to go up later on this week. Um, my very dear Disney friend, Emma, did a mad dash from Primark yesterday, because obviously um, by the time this goes out, you will, do you know what, by the time this goes out, the England lockdown will be basically finishing up, but England's going into lockdown from the 5th of November to the 2nd of December for like a whole month. Scotland's unaffected because our five tier system just started today and we are in tier two of five and it goes zero to four. So we are bang in the middle. So got that. Nothing's really changed for us, though, to be honest, because we've not been allowed people in our houses for weeks and weeks anyways. So it's no different and everything's still open around here. Unless we go up a level, I think that's when stuff starts to shut down. It's been a few hours since I filmed. Um, I've actually been downstairs and had my breakfast, which was poached egg on toast. I cleaned the fridge out and cleaned the sink and everything and I've just watched Mr. David and Mr. Ian on YouTube their weekend vlog just gone and I thought I would try this and it's actually in two halves so let's give it a go okay It's very crunchy. It felt like cracker. Crackers? Oh, it's pretzels. It's okay. That's the inside. There's more crunchy stuff than peanut butter in it.
food haul time again. Uh, so we'll go from right to left this time. So we've got mushrooms. I have these, which are good for snacks for work. I have a cheese-filled croissant. Amazing. Nope, I did not buy the remote. Um, I got an anti-back hand gel because it's out of stock on my Asda order that comes tomorrow. So I thought I'd pick one up. These little bacon and cheese bites are amazing. A baguette because I'm going to make an egg and bacon mayonnaise baguette for my lunch. Lucasaid because I'm feeling slightly sorry for myself because I had a few drinks last night. And Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. This is my favourite Ben and Jerry's ever and it was on offer for £3. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to take you. Uh, I'm going to shove some YouTube on and just pot it about in the kitchen. We're back at the kitchen worktop and as you can see I've been to Hallmark and I've got my wrapping paper for Christmas. So this is what I've got. It's very plain, it's just navy and it says Merry Christmas on it and it's got little stars and it's all gold. So to go with it, I've got the matching tags. So I got 10 tags for 99 pence. The rows are four meters, they were 199. I do get discount on this 10% for working at the gateway. And I also just got the gold uh, stringy stuff that was 79 pence. As an add-on to my mum's present, she normally gets a sort of gift bag, a goodie bag of stuff. Um, and there's a molten brown at the gateway. So I got a hand cream, delicious rhubarb and rose. And we do like an offer, especially when it's molten brown. So this is a body lotion for eight pounds which is Lily of the Valley and Star Anise, and I actually put it on my hands and it actually smells quite nice. So I got her those two things. Um, oh, let me just flip the camera around. You might have noticed that I haven't actually filmed that much this month so far, because it's already like the 10th, I think, today. Um, that's because I'm trying to just have one part. Oh, look, there's Ollie. Um, I'm trying just to have one part for November's monthly vlog, uh, just because I'm going to have my Disney Christmas haul video come out the end of November. Following that will be November's monthly vlog and then after that will be a Disney Christmas house tour which is all very exciting. Um, so I just kind of wanted one part because I didn't want to sort of shoehorn two parts in so I am purposefully filming less this month. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do December, I really don't know. Um, I probably will monthly vlog it but I am thinking if me and Laura can't go to our respective families' houses, I might film a video just on Christmas Day um, and do it as a separate video and try and get it up before New Year. So, because we'd only close like Christmas Day and New Year's Day anyway, so yeah, I'm always working Boxing Day. So, that's all I have to say for now. I am going to start preparing tea and I am still watching Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, the UK version, which is better than the American one. Just saying. If it's a little bit wonky, it's because uh, the fo my phone is currently leaning on the couch right now. I've just popped on to show you one thing, and then I'll spin you around once I'm all sorted. Um, if you watched October, I'm not sure if it was part one or part two, but we got a rug and this canvas that you can see there. Um, we're adding some blush pink touches to the gray living room. And the throws arrived today. Uh, so I ordered two of these. Uh, they're a medium throw from Dunelm, they were £6 a piece and rather than having our Disney and Friends Primark throws on the couches we're going to try and make the living room feel more adult. So uh, this one here we've got, I've already got one on the couch that you're currently leaning on, um, these we're going to sit on and then Laura's ordered some sort of bigger thicker ones, same colour just with a sort of texture to it and that's going to go on the back of the couch so it's going to look really, really nice. Um, I need to hoover the rug and stuff uh, as well. So what I'll do is I'll do that, then I'll show you. And this is what it looks like. Uh, I've got my glasses on the couch. Um, so basically, they're quite big. So I just folded them in half and then I've tucked the edges, obviously, in the back and the sides. I've still got my Disney cushions on. got Eo up here and then my princes and random male characters Disney throw. This is Laura's couch. Got... I've put our Disney throw on the back and then she's got these two cushions here as well. And obviously we've all seen the rug, that's just the hoover attachment. I gave the, I can't even speak, I gave the couches a little hoover over. And tomorrow night we're going to be playing this game. Um, over 100 games in one. I'm going to play that. And Laura bought these 
uh, they are the stickers that go on the windows. So there's like loads of sheets in here. I think there's about eight sheets in here. So um, they'll be going up on some windows and whatever Laura decides to stick them, basically. It has been like five days since I've filmed, which, as I explained earlier on in the month, there's a reason. I'm just trying to basically have enough footage for one monthly vlog this month rather than two parts. As you can see, I'm also sitting somewhere different in the Disney room because my new desk has arrived and it is now up, which means, um, well, it doesn't mean anything. Basically, I am reorganising the Disney room and I'm actually going to do it, I think, December. I'm going to measure things out so I can get all my brand new shelves ordered as well. So currently my new desk is now where my Beauty and the Beast shelf was, which was basically just opposite the ones you can see currently behind me. So my Beauty and the Beast shelf is now where my desk was. Um, I would have realistically liked to have kept the desk where it was and the Beauty and the, Bel the, Belst, the, Be the Beast shelf where it was, but unfortunately I'm wanting a glass cabinet, basically a cabinet with glass doors on it to display all my breakables and just to make it look really good. And where the Beauty and the Beast shelf currently was, the floors and the walls in this house are not the best and the shelf that I did have was actually leaning against the wall, which is no good for something that's glass fronted. So it just made more sense just to switch the two over. All of the new shelving will be white, which means I'll be selling all of the shelving units. I'm currently sitting in front of my old desk, which is next to the new desk, because I found some things and I was sorting some stuff out, and I think they're quite cute, so I'm going to show you. So if you can hear a whizzing noise in the background, that is just the washing machine almost finished. But I found all of these when I was sorting some stuff out. So we've just got some Disneyland Paris postcards. We've got a hotels one, an illuminations one, and then a sort of... Uh, Shea Remy area. The words were not coming there. And then I have these two as well. These are from the American Parks. Just two Beauty and the Beast ones. These are gorgeous. These are in some plastic. Um, I think these are stunning. And then I also found these, which I was looking for ages ago, which is the Pixar pens. And they were only six pounds for the set of eight a while ago. Um, and they're so cool. So I'm sure you want to see the desk, so I'll just stand up and stand back so you can see it. This is the desk. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where the Beauty and the Beast shelf was. Um, I love the shelf because it does have these little cubbyhole areas here. I'm not entirely happy with the middle one, but this one I like and this one I like just because this one has some storage for, like, my YouTube books and stuff. I've obviously have to get a photo with me and Mickey and then the little Mickey plus, so that's really cute, but I'm not happy with this middle one. I've moved the calendar above the desk. I'm going to get the smaller version next year just so that it looks better on the wall. Obviously, I've got my chip cup with all my mugs there. I've got a little Philadelphia Dunkers thing. Um, and then I love this down here. We've got a little shelf so that that can actually sit off the floor. And then I've got my little pin hooks here. So, and I just, I wear flip flops on the house all the time. If we look down here, as you can see, that's where the Beauty and the Beast shelf is. This wall, by the way, is totally flush. That sits completely perfect. So that's fab. And my pin boards had to come down because obviously it was on the wall above there. There's a litter tray down there. That's where I've moved this litter tray to for now. Um, so yeah, basically all of this shelving is going to be white. It's going to look fab. We're getting new curtains. We're getting a new lampshade. It's going to look very nice. And my computer chair will be with me, I think, the start of December. Um, I have got one coming. It's on pre-order, so... I'm very excited for it all to come together. Look what I've made. I'm so proud of these. So these are homemade. Uh, tea was this. This was like a thing we got in Asda. So it was like a chicken joint and you got a sausage each and two stuffing balls. And I made some mashed potato, which I'm just giving a wee wee heat in the microwave. And I just need some nice gravy. And I am catching up on Sam for God's October trip. And this is day two, as you can see, I'm more than halfway through. So I'm going to get this dished up and enjoy the rest of Sam's video. Anyways, I'm here to show you a couple of bits and pieces. Um, the first one is this Yzma and Kronk decoration. This was part of the Legacy Collection because it's 20 years since the Emperor's New Groove came out. And it's got Yzma and Kronk. And you won't probably be able to see, but Yzma has eyelashes probably can't see but I love this and my friend Emma picked this up for me because it kept coming in and out of stock online and she ordered it at like four o'clock in the morning so I managed to get this thank you I did pay for it though just so you're aware 
And something else I bought was this. You will know by now, if you're a regular to the Wednesday vlogs, that I love to buy face masks from my friend Sally. Her website will, of course, be linked in the description box down below. And I asked if she would make me a bigger pouch so that I could store all my masks in. And I loved this blue rainbow fabric. And I'm going to show you my Christmas masks because I don't think I've showed them yet. So I think I've got all the Disney Christmas fabric she does. So the first one is... Now, this is a fabric that's actually a bedding in Asda. It's got Mickey driving with the Christmas tree. If we can see that there. The next one is Mickey and Minnie. I think I've just showed that upside down, have I? But yeah, ice skating and then with presents. The third one is this one here, which is super cute. And the fourth one's actually, um, it, to me, it's like a Disney tartan um, and it's red, green and gold. But I've actually been wearing it to work because I think I can get away with wearing it now. I'll start wearing these from like the 1st of December or even I could start wearing them this week, right? Anyways, that's the little bits I've got to show you. I will hopefully be filming my Disney Christmas house tour maybe on Wednesday. I don't think Laura wants me to film until we've got all the stuff done. The main bulk of it's all done, like the tree's done. I've decorated my Disney room. I have a couple of little bits and pieces up in my bedroom as well. I've got my Christmas bedding on. So yeah, because I'm going to film like all the rooms in the house that have Disney Christmas decorations. So definitely the bedroom, the living room and the Disney room, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that's it for now. Oh, also, watch The Mandalorian, episode four, the latest one. Amazing, best one of season two so far. And I've also started watching His Dark Materials, but I'm about a year too late because I'm only on season one when season two is airing like right now. So I'm currently, I'm um, like halfway through episode four. It's quite good, but my head's boggled. I have no idea what's going on or who's who. All I'll say is, if you've seen it, Mrs. Coulter, we don't like her, okay? She's not nice. So yeah, we're going to have a meatball pasta bake, which is currently in the oven. It should be ready very soon. I've just been down to check on it. Anyways, I've rambled on enough. So I'm going to go watch another 10 minutes of this and then have some tea. And I think an Ollie update is uh, long overdue. Ollie. Hello. Is the radiator on? Is it? Oh, bless him. He's got not a kid in the world. I mentioned food, so I'm going to show you this. Now, I am aware I have eaten some of it, but there's a reason for that. My phone was updating, so I've had to wait until now to show you it. So basically, I just cook off some meatballs, cut them into quarters, and then I boil some pasta. This is actually tagliatelle pasta, but I crushed it when it was dry to make it smaller, cooked it, and then just bunged it in the dish. This is just a pasta sauce. This is a bought one. I normally do just make my own, but it was just easier to do this for tonight. Shoved it in the oven and then got a mozzarella ball and just shredded it all across the top and chucked it in the oven. And it's really good. I'm currently just watching YouTube and then I'm going to go and edit the rest of the monthly vlog so far. I finished work early today. I got home, showered, done the dishes, got my phone in charge because I'm about to finally film the second part to my Beauty and the Beast collection which is Funko Pops, which if you're interested, I will leave a link for down below because it will be up before this video. But I'm having a little bit of a problem because I can't move because Ollie is currently sprawled out on my back. We are back to the kitchen worktop and I've got a few things to show you. I'll show this one last. So the first two are these Winnie the Pooh tea towels, which if you watched my latest Disney haul. I did say that I would open these out in the monthly vlog and show you what they look like. So the first one just has Pooh Bear on it. It says Silly Old Bear. I should have really opened these up before I started filming, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. So it says Silly Old Bear and it's just got Pooh and Piglet on there and it looks super adorable. The other one is basically just plain grey. And the only design detail on it is this embroidered Pooh Bear with just the border running along the bottom here. The final thing is this lovegretna.com, which is got put through the door like an, about an hour ago. And it's all about supporting local businesses. And it's just a little booklet with all the local businesses in Gretna, which I think is such a great idea because 
COVID has just wreaked havoc on small businesses and put so many out of business that it's nice to support your local ones um, rather than the big ones that maybe don't need it as much as these smaller ones. So I just think this is a fantastic idea. I think this is great. So bravo Gretna for coming up with this. Um, I think it's a fab idea. And just while I'm filming, if anybody is remotely interested, Blackpink, the K-pop Korean girl group, they released their debut album last month and it's called The Album. I love the title. Um, and it came in this box. This was sort of like a special box set that was on their website and I only paid £12 for it. I got it in the sale. So, yep, if we just open it up, this is the album itself. But all of these goodies were on the top of it. This is a signed rosé card because rosé is my favourite member. We have this little thing here full of goodies and stickers and little bits and pieces. We have a selection of like thick postcards. I think there's one for every member. Don't worry, I won't get those out. And I have this poster, which I've opened out ready. Rosé is this one here. So I love this poster. And then we have the photo booklet. It tends to be with sort of Korean, Japanese groups. They always go the extra mile. It's not just a simple album. It's normally a big deal. And there's always photo booklets and extras and stickers and everything else. Um, so we just have this big booklet full of gorgeous photos of the members of Blackpink. And then on the back, that black pink there is actually, you know, inside. So yeah, I just thought I'd show that because I think it's really great and I thought the value for money was incredible. It's Friday. It's been a quiet but eventful day at work. And I'm here to show you something I bought from my friend the other day. She dropped it off on Wednesday when it was my day off. I was in bed though, so she popped it behind the bin. And it's these Christmas sort of tea light holders and they're so cute. We've got trees on and gingerbread men and reindeers and candy canes and I think they're really cute. So I've got these. I'm gonna pop two on the bedroom windowsill and the other one I don't know what I'm gonna do with because I've moved my Mickey melt wax warmer thing through to the Disney room because it's got Mickey on it so it belongs in the Disney room, right? So yeah, I've got that. Also, um, upon editing through this monthly vlog so far, I've realised it looks like I'm wearing the same red jumper the whole way through. Um, I was wearing my Disneyland Paris one the other day. Um, I'm actually in my pyjamas already, even though it's only five o'clock. I finished early today at work. Thank you, Oliver. Hope you didn't flash your bum. No? Me? Eh? Yes. <laughs> so, um, I do wash my clothes, just so you know. Also, um, the Disney... Christmas house tour video won't be up until probably closer to the middle of December. The reason for that is we're still waiting on some bits to come to sort of do to the Christmas stuff for the house and Laura won't let me film basically until it's all done. <laughs> so there's that as well. Hi, you've got some sleepies on your... Ah, there you go. It's all gone. So yeah, that's why. Uh, but I agree that I should wait until it's all done. It was only a couple of things, but may as well wait, and then everything's just done at the same time, so it just makes sense. Also Black Friday today, and I may have placed a Shop Disney order, which I'm very excited about. There's an item coming that's from Disneyland Paris that I am so excited, so excited to receive. So excited. Plus two Christmas decorations and then two other things as well. So there's five things in total, so I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm also thinking of getting a laptop, just because my one is so old at this point. Some days I'll sit for 45 minutes, have to reboot it three times and actually manage to do nothing. So there's a lot of effort that goes into making a video these days because it's so slow. You're just circling around, aren't you? You just want the attention. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go because I've been rambling for three minutes, but I just thought I'd give you that little update and show you these cute little tea light holders. Another day, another day of me sitting in the kitchen with my dressing gown on. <laughs> it's currently Sunday afternoon. It's about half past two. I will not lie, I got out of bed at 2pm today. I didn't feel so good 
yesterday after work. I had a really bad stomach, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. We ended up staying up till 2 a.m. though. Um, no drinking or anything like that. We were sensible. We ended up watching the new quiz show, the not the wall, that was the one before the wheel with Michael McIntyre and we caught up on Strictly on catch up. So Strictly results tonight. It's the last day of November tomorrow. Oh my God. <clears throat> but I'm just in the kitchen. I've got YouTube on. I'm just catching up on some bits and pieces. I'm about to make lasagna. I've got pasta boiling for lunch tomorrow. So I figured I would take you on the journey of making the lasagna because there's not been much cooking in this one. And I'll show you the finished result at the end. And also, I don't think I'm monthly vlogging next month. I'm attempting, <laughs> we're gonna go back to weekly vlog style, but it's gonna be weekly vlogmas. But I'm gonna try and do Christmas stuff throughout the whole of the month. Um, wrapping presents, showing bits and pieces. So some weeks there might be two videos, because uh, I do have the Christmas house tour to film still. Oh, Ollie is not happy. What's the matter, darling? just like that another month is done which is crazy I cannot believe that tomorrow is the first of December and as I said earlier on which I think was just yesterday I'm gonna be hopefully doing weekly vlogmas so I'll be filming for at least three weeks and then I'll probably stop and then I'll film on Christmas Day separately I think just because me and Laura have decided we're going to spend Christmas Day together. It's just easier and it doesn't put families and things at risk. I know that you can meet up with three other families. I personally disagree with the idea, to be honest. It's like saying that Corona is just going to not bother for like the four or five days that you're allowed to have these random bubbles, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm just going to let it go for now. Um, I do hope that you've enjoyed this monthly vlog. It will have been a little bit longer because it's just been an all-in-one video. Um, as you can see, you can see some of my Primark uh, bunting up behind me that will have featured in my, thank you Ollie, in my Disney Christmas haul, which will already be up now. It'll be the video before this. So if you want to check it out, please do so. Um, as always, though, if you have enjoyed this month, I was going to say this week's monthly vlog. If you have enjoyed this month's monthly vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below something great that happened to you throughout the month of November or even something that you're looking forward to. Um, as always, please do hit the big red subscribe button, tinkle the bell so you're notified every time a video goes live. And that's it. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you so much for watching. He's been Ollie and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.